if we assume they stay in there, I mean, certainly uh, the, the, there will be repercussions probably in their relationship with the government. Now, how exactly will that, will that play out? That's an interesting question. Um, and I find it a little bit hard right now, of, right off the bat, you know, to, to come up with an answer to that. If there were any kind of specific business areas, for instance, where they need permissions, uh, you would perhaps expect that they find it perhaps a little bit harder, right? I mean, certainly loss of face, but at the same time, you probably have not exactly made, made friends with the, with the Chinese government there. So uh, there, there may be kind of ways, uh, you know, more or less subtle, in which way uh, Google will in future somehow pay for this one. Certainly one thing, I think one of, one of the bigger threats for Google moving forward will be politics in general. Right, and this is not just politics in China, this is uh, politics even in, in Europe, right? And you have referred to the litigation, right? But uh, you, you increasingly get concerns among governments uh, that, uh, that Google is the next Microsoft. We have, have all heard that, right? It's no longer just in the press, right? Just last week, I think the German justice minister basically uh, gave an interview in the largest news, uh, news, uh, news magazine saying it's, it's a monopoly that needs regulating. And uh, afterwards, I had to backtrack and say it's not her job to do that, but nonetheless, right? I mean, it's certainly going in this direction. But uh, I think one of the biggest threats to them moving forward is actually really going to be uh, getting their wings clipped by, uh, by political processes and not, in, not necessarily in China.